it's your girl Utia aka Lil Yellow. So I just wanted to take this time to thank all the subscribers that subscribe to my channel without seeing any content or videos. I appreciate the love and support from you guys. And also, if you're watching this for the first time and you're not yet subscribed, please do subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever I drop new bangers. Also, do follow me on my Instagram. I'm gonna leave the handle below. Do follow me on my Instagram to get notified whenever I drop, like whenever I'm gonna drop videos or what they're gonna be about, just so you're not left behind and stuff like that. You guys can tell by the title of the video that we will be doing a get to know me tag. A few weeks ago, I posted a sticker on my Instagram where people responded with questions which I will be answering in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Also, if you are not yet subscribed and you are still watching, please do subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to get notified when I'm dropping new videos and just comment on what I did wrong because this is literally my first video like this is my first video and it's not gonna be perfect but practice makes perfect you know I've written down the questions that I will be answering on a piece of paper which I will be reading from so Y'all shouldn't wonder why I'm like looking down. It's just because I'm reading the questions. Yeah. And the first question is, what is your name? Or what are your names? Well, most of you guys know my social name, which is Lil Yellow. But my actual names are Utia Patie Nangai Happy. Guys, I don't have an English name. And the second question is, how old are you? This question, guys, this question offends me. Because some people actually think I'm like 12, no, okay, not 12, 12 is like 12. Some people think I'm 17, 16, and others think I'm 23, 24. So sometimes I'm like, do I look that old or do I look that young? I'm just not sure. Although, y'all, just to clarify things, I'm 19. Like, I'm turning 19 in a few days. So, the next question is, have you ever been in a fight? <laughs> Ooh. Um, guys, I've been in several fights, guys. High school. Okay, in my high school, I just wouldn't take crap from people. If you, like, said something offensive to me, and, yeah, I'll just pull up. Like, I literally just pull up on you. I'm a pull up, like... I just wouldn't take crap from people, like the disrespect, the checking you dumb, thinking you're like better than other people and then you want to make them feel a certain way. I just wouldn't take crap from people. So if you said something that offended me or you just pushed me or just something like that, okay, if you just disrespected me, I, I just, I'm just going to pull up. But guys... Don't take this the wrong way. Fighting is not the solution. Like, I'm over that phase of... Um, I'm over that violent phase of just fighting and stuff like that. My advice to you guys is... If you're, if you're offended or disrespected, just walk away. Because sometimes when you walk away, the, the person who's doing you wrong is actually going to feel bad and guilty. And then they're going to feel like crap because you walked away you're gonna embarrass them like it's gonna be very embarrassing for them because eh? you're gonna like embarrass them and stuff like that so guys just walk away um just walk away i don't know now there's different circumstances because some people might say something too deep then others might say something just a little bit deep but it's not that much yeah I i'm not saying take crap from people i'm just saying in some situations you can just choose to walk away because violence is not the answer guys it's not the answer and like i said i'm over that phase of fighting in that violent life i'm over that so don't fight guys just don't fight so the next question is what is the most important thing in your life um i have like a list of most important things in my life at the moment but 
gonna mention like two. Yeah, two. So the first most important thing in my life is obviously God. Because I feel like without God, I wouldn't even be making this video. Like I wouldn't be here so God. And then the second one is my family. Cause my family has been there since day one. Like I cannot put anything else above my family besides God now. My family has been there since day one. Unless you may free then come on my bestie and whatnot. I'll never put you above my family. You you haven't been there since day one. You haven't been um next question is what do your names mean? Your herero names? What do my hero name? Utiapache is a name that I was given by my grandfather from my father's side, which means when God decides what he wants to decide, nobody can say otherwise. Or if I'm wrong, guys, that's like that's how I would define it. But I never know how to explain that name. So it, the next question is how many siblings do you I have four older brothers and a younger sister. We are six in total. Four older brothers and a younger sister. Um, what is your biggest fear, guys? I'm so frightened of spiders. Spiders freak me out. If you're my friend or family, you will know spiders freak me out. Guys, I don't like spiders. They're just so icky. They're so disgusting. They're, ugh. Guys, I'm so afraid of being like locked up in a tiny room or a box or probably in a coffin. Just, I hate suffocating. I want to be suffocated in a tiny room. I'm also afraid of. This question is What tribe are you and where are you from? I guess you guys can tell by the accent that I'm a Herero speaking person. Like I'm a, our farm is in the Okoshitu district, meaning I'm talking from Okoshitu. So the next question is name all four of your surnames. The surname that is on my birth certificate is Kavohua, which is my father's surname. That is like yeah, my father's surname. My mother's surname is Kaitopora, but then she's now a Kavohua because she's married. Then yeah, her surname is Kaito Pra. And then my grandfather's surname from my mother's side is Kadapwa. And then my grandmother's surname from my father's side is Haukambi. So guys, I decided that my YouTube channel is not gonna be based on one specific thing. It's gonna be everything I want you guys to see and what you guys request for me to do i'm gonna provide so it's not gonna be based on one specific thing for example beauty or and stuff like that it's gonna be an all-in-one thing if i want to do a daily vlog i'm gonna do it if y'all want me to do a weekend vlog i'm gonna do it if i want to do pranks on family members or my friends i'm gonna do it and it's basically just gonna be like this adventurous youtube channel where we do what we want to do and yeah we work together to show content that you guys want to see that i want you guys to see and what is your favorite food guys like i said i'm a herero speaking person so i love meat i love meat guys i love meat i love anything that is meatish anything that has like spices i love spicy food I, guys i really love spicy food <sighs> meat guys kapana meat just meat i love meat guys so that's my favorite food but then something else is probably maybe cakes sometimes like once in a while the next question is where are you from guys i was born in okahanja and i was raised in Hrotfontein. Like i live in Hrotfontein. i grew up in Hrotfontein. i was good. so guys we've come to the end of this video and i just wanted to say thank you again to all the subscribers that subscribed without seeing any content i appreciate the love and support also please don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what i did wrong and what i need to work on what i need to improve like 
I said practice makes perfect and this is my first video we need to like groom ourselves to become better than than what we were so please bear with me guys we've come to the end of the video I appreciate the love and support like I said before and please share because the more the media you know the more the media we need to grow this family guys we need to work on growing this family